Alright everybody, welcome back. Uh, this episode what episode number nine is going to be talking about backstep welding. And uh, backstep welding is kind of a technique that will be used in some situations where you just want to limit some warping issues. Uh, typically it's uh, uh, used on thinner gauge uh, sheet metal type plates and welding just you know, sheet metal. So. Really, what, what is uh, backstep welding and how does it help eliminate the warping? Well, backstep welding, if we go over here to what's going to be this joint here, backstep welding is you're going to, you're going to start welding up here and come down and then you're next, then you're going to start up here and come back into this one, tie in here, keep coming like this. And so the idea is that you are, you, you're kind of, you're taking a step backwards in comparison to the direction that you're welding. And versus where you would typically, you know, if you have no back stepping, you know, you may just, you're going to start and you're going to weld straight through like that. And so, well, where's, where's the differences? What's happening is when, when you start here on this one, and uh, I think just to clarify this, uh, here's our starts and stops. But what's, what's going on here is as you start up here and you start welding here, you got your little, your heat is starting to kind of do something like that. You know, it's, it's, it's growing out a little bit, but not much. So as you weld down here, your heat grows out here. So then when you come back up here, your weld heat is, you start over here again, and your heat goes like that, and like this, and so forth. So then you never really have a lot of heat buildup in any one spot of that joint. Whereas with no back stepping, you know, you start up here, your heat kind of goes and goes, and it just it just keeps growing. It grows out. I mean, eventually it does it does tend to you know taper off and come straight, but it's uh, it definitely grows out. Your heat band grows out quite a bit more in the joint, and because of it growing out that far, you're more likely if you don't have some other measures like clamping or fixturing that's going to restrain this from warping is you're going to end up pulling these plates up where it's less likely when you use a back stepping method. So again, that's something that's used typically on thin gauge metal, if you sheet metal and uh, any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try and get back and answer them. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful.